In this week's edition of Pass the FE Exam, I'm going to solve a horizontal curve problem. I've been getting a lot of questions on horizontal curves lately. But before I do that, let me remind you that the FE Exam, or Fundamentals of Engineering, is the first step to getting your professional engineering license. And through the videos on this channel, including this one, you will learn not only how to properly prepare for the exam, but how to ensure that you pass the FE exam. Now, before I jump into horizontal curves, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel here, as my weekly videos will help you pass the FE exam. And if you leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them on future videos. All right, so let's dive into our problem. A horizontal circular curve has the following data. I, or the deflection angle, is 40 degrees in 55 minutes. R equals the radius, which is 600, and the station of the point of tangent intersection, or PI, equals 20 plus 0, 0. They're asking you, what is the station of the point of tangent PT? So let's first take a look at this problem against the information that's provided in your handbook. You can see the handbook has a sketch that shows some of the general aspects of the horizontal curve. It also has some equations that you see here on the bottom of the screen. Now, what is given to us? I, or the deflection angle, which is sometimes designated as a delta, depending on the book you're looking in, is provided. The point of tangent intersection, or PI, is provided as well as the radius is provided. And what we need to solve for is the PT, or the point of tangent. So the first thing that I recommend that you do in a problem of this nature, or really any problem where there is measurements, is to sketch out the problem, especially if a sketch is not provided. However, I even sometimes draw out the problem on my own, even if there is a sketch provided, because it really does help me to visualize and think through things much easier. So you can see here that I've sketched out the curve. I've included all the information that's been provided to us, the radius, the deflection angle, the point of tangent intersection. And it's very simple. I just have a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm just sketching it out. And this is something that you can do, of course, during the exam, and I would recommend doing it. Now, let's take a look at what we need to figure out and how we can figure it out. So again, they're asking us for the point of tangent intersection. The easiest way to figure this out is if we can figure out the tangent, because we already have the point of intersection, we figure out that tangent, we can then subtract it from the point of intersection and figure out the PC station. And then once we have the PC station, we can add the length of the curve between the PC and PT to figure out the station of the PT. Now, something to be aware of is that the length is not shown, or the L is not shown in this picture. They're only showing the LC. So I've shown it on my sketch over here to the left. That's the L that we're looking to solve for. Now, how did I know that? There's also information in your handbook the list of definitions related to the curves. And you'll see in that list of definitions is L, which equals the length of curve from the PC to the PT. So that would kind of tell you that if you can figure out what that PC is, then we can add the length to it. All right, so now I've updated my drawing and I've added in the variables that we are gonna to have to solve for, the T and the L that weren't in the previous sketch. Now, something important to note is that you don't want to confuse L and LC. One is the length of the curve, one is the length of the chord. So for our problem, we're going to be utilizing L. We want to find L. Now, before we go any further, before we solve this problem, I need to show you an angle conversion that you'll have to use. You can see that our deflection angle is given in 40 degrees and 55 minutes. That's not a number you can work with. You want to break that number into a decimal. So how can you do that? You can do that by following the equation here. If you want to convert minutes to a decimal, you divide by 60. If you happen to have seconds as well, you can divide them by 3600. And there's an example here, but I'm going to just do it for our problem. We have 40 degrees, 55 minutes. 
which will equal 40 plus 55 over 60, or 40.917. So in all of our calculations, we're going to use this number whenever we're, we need the delta, or the I. All right, so now what I want to do is let's just think through, and this is something you should do on all of your problems. Think through what you're looking to get and how you can find it based on the data that's given. So we know, again, we need the PT, and we know if we can solve for the PC and solve for the L, then we can add the two together to get our PT. So now what we need to do is look at the equations that have been provided and try to determine can we figure that out based on what we have. And the answer is yes. First of all, we want to find the tangent. So if we look at the equation for tangent, you need the radius and then the tangent of the deflection angle divided by two. We have what we need to solve that. Then once we have the tangent, then we'll need the, the length of the curve. And we can see that that equation is here and we have everything we need for that. We have the radius, we have the deflection angle, and then it's just pi over 180. So that being said, let's walk through and do our calculations. So first, let's solve for the tangent. We have the radius, we can plug in our angle, and we'll come up with a tangent of 223.84. So we now have our tangent. Next, we can use the equation given and we can solve for the length by plugging in, again, the radius and the deflection angle. We can determine that our length is 428.26. So now we've solved both the tangent and the length. So now it just becomes an addition and subtraction game. We have our PC here that we want to determine. So we take the point of tangent intersection, which is 20 plus 0, 0, and we subtract the tangent that we calculated earlier, 223.84, and we come up with 17 plus 76.16. And to convert this, you just have to take this out of the thousands and just convert it into the station number as you see as I did here. All right, so now we have our point of curve. Okay, now that we have the PC, we can go ahead and we can calculate our PT by simply adding the PC to the length of the curve that we previously calculated, which you can see here, which gives us the station of our PT, which is 22 plus 04.42, and that is your answer. And so the key thing to remember is do a sketch whenever you can because it will help you think through it and then identify the data that you have and what variables you can solve you need to solve for and what equations you have that can help you do it. It's kind of a little process that you can use for many of the problems on the FE and the PE exam for that matter. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will share some more studying strategies and also cover some more problems, including engineering economics practice problems. Past the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button and you'll get expert tips and tricks every single week to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And these are tips that you can't get anywhere else. Believe me, you won't want to miss a single video. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific problem that you'd like me to solve or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week.